as you can hear, demolition is underway here at Cajun Field to make room for our Lady of the Lord Stadium. I'm Christina Mondragon, your Lafayette Parish reporter. And for some raging Cajun fans, it's bittersweet. Former UL football running back Nathan Thornton was there to witness the tower being demolished and recalls when the stadium was first built back in the 70s. You know, we were excited when the stadium was built. It was kind of like we felt like we built it. And now it's, uh, you know, a little sad, but, you know, a little more invigorating too because it's a new era. We're looking for newer and bigger and better things. Thornton attended UL when it was known as USL back in 1970 to 1974. Already having to experience a name change, this isn't new to him. Well, you know, look, I, I still got the cap, you know, so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I like the change. I mean, change is good. They still call it USL. They still call us the Bulldogs, but, you know, change is good. I'm, I'm good with the change. I feel good about it. Another raging Cajun fan feels this demolition will bring in even more fans to have more people come down here enjoy our culture enjoy our school come see some good competitive ball and you know relax and you know stay the art high class you know sweets and things of that nature where they can enjoy our good food Stuart B.O. president of J.B. Mouton general contractor for the demolition is happy to have taken on this project I think it's a great project for the community the old stadium was dated uh, had a lot of memories in it but the new stadium is going to be uh, refreshing and uh, going to take us into the next 50 or 100 years Years. Thornton says having Our Lady of Lords Stadium ready for football season is something to look forward to. I, I'm excited to see the renovation and what it looks like. I'm, I'm real excited about that. It's day one of a 60-day demolition process where piece by piece they will be breaking down Cajun Field to make way for Our Lady of Lords Stadium set to be completed by 2025. Reporting in Lafayette, Christina Mondragon, KTC TV3.